the liars who've been trying to silence them shrink and they become weaker. That's the iron law of the universe. True things prevail. In a world teetering on the edge of uncertainty, against a backdrop of swirling energies and cutting edge technology, CERN, the birthplace of groundbreaking scientific breakthroughs, has suddenly fallen into silence. Unveiling secrets shrouded in darkness, Tucker Carlson brings to light a series of inexplicable events that defy all conventional explanations. What exactly has forced this prestigious institution to shut down? And what secrets lie hidden within CERN's labyrinthine corridors? Join us as we unveil the unsettling truth posed by Carlson and delve into the rabbit hole of the mysteries surrounding why CERN suddenly shut down. Known for his unflinching pursuit of truth, Tucker Carlson, the fearless American television host and conservative political commentator, has fearlessly tackled subjects ranging from climate change to the intricate world of science on his show, Tucker Carlson Tonight. And now, he set his sights on the enigmatic domain of CERN. However, CERN is no ordinary laboratory. It stands as the European Organization for Nuclear Research, an awe-inspiring behemoth in the realm of particle physics. Since its inception in 1954, CERN has been a trailblazer, uniting brilliant minds and preserving scientific talent within Europe's borders. It was born out of a desperate need to retain scientists who were flocking to the United States. Serving as a hotbed for cutting-edge research in high-energy physics, CERN is a sprawling hub of innovation. Its particle accelerators and state-of-the-art infrastructure facilitates groundbreaking experiments that unravel the universe's deepest secrets. With international collaborations at its core, CERN draws together brilliant minds from across the globe, united in their quest to decipher the cosmos enigmas. However, it doesn't end there. CERN's computing facility is a vital component of its scientific prowess, responsible for storing and analyzing the unfathomable amounts of data generated by its mind-bending experiments. It's a technological marvel that holds the key to unlocking the universe's mysteries. However, beyond its cutting-edge research and data analysis capabilities, CERN serves as a vital platform for scientists to simulate and refine their theoretical models, providing a unique space to explore controversial ideas that may be deemed too daring elsewhere. At its core, CERN is an institution on a quest to unravel the profound secrets of the universe. By colliding particles with unprecedented energy, physicists within its walls endeavor to probe the very essence of matter and the forces that govern its interactions. Through these ambitious experiments, they seek to unveil the fundamental laws of physics that shape the cosmos, shedding light on its origins, evolution, and the underlying principles that allow its existence. But amidst the pursuit of scientific advancement lies a shadowy belief held by some, including Tucker Carlson. They claim that CERN's ambitious endeavors, particularly those conducted at the colossal Large Hadron Collider, hide a far more sinister agenda, such as a doorway to hell itself. According to Carlson's controversial theory, the pursuit of unlocking the universe's secrets through particle physics is merely a facade for a clandestine mission to breach the boundaries between our world and the underworld. Speculations run wild as Tucker Carlson suggests that the colossal energies unleashed by the Large Hadron Collider at CERN could have the unthinkable consequence of tearing open a dimensional rift a gateway for malevolent entities to traverse into our reality. Carlson and his advocates of this bewildering theory weave together alleged evidence, ranging from purported occult symbols and rituals linked to CERN to distorted interpretations of scientific jargon employed by its researchers. Carlson even draw parallels between CERN's experiments and fictional narratives involving parallel dimensions or the summoning of dark forces. Could it be that CERN is pulling a page from the realm of Stranger Things, seeking access to another dimension, as claimed by Tucker Carlson? However, the scientists at CERN possess the remarkable ability to disrupt the delicate fabric of reality itself, as particles accelerate to unprecedented speeds and collide with unimaginable force. Even the tiniest anomaly has the potential to create a microscopic rift in the very fabric of space-time. Initially inconspicuous, this minuscule rift gradually expands, fueled by peculiar interactions between subatomic particles. 
As its size and intensity grow, it forms a bridge between our world and a dimension steeped in malevolent energies commonly associated with darkness and referred to as hell. The audacious utilization of the Large Hadron Collider becomes the vehicle for such a harrowing connection. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN, nestled near Geneva, Switzerland, is the largest and most potent particle accelerator on the planet and stands as a testament to human ingenuity, its purpose, to propel subatomic particles to mind-boggling energies, unlocking the secrets of the universe. Imagine a circular tunnel spanning nearly 17 miles, housing the colossal LHC. Within its circular expanse, physicists conduct groundbreaking experiments, delving into the very essence of matter. The LHC orchestrates a captivating dance of energy and velocity by accelerating beams of hadrons, whether they be protons or lead ions, in opposite directions. As these beams circulate, they gain incredible momentum, hurtling toward collision. Within this labyrinth of science, collision energies soar to unimaginable heights, mimicking conditions similar to the immediate aftermath of the Big Bang. The ability to recreate such cataclysmic circumstances is revolutionary, enabling scientists to study the birth of our universe firsthand, unraveling its deepest mysteries. Designated points along the LHC's circular path serve as crucial junctures where detectors capture the ephemeral moments of collision, capturing data that unlocks new insights into the fundamental nature of reality. The ATLAS and CMS specialized detectors constructed stand as colossal instruments designed to capture and analyze the properties of subatomic particles emerging from high-energy proton collisions. These detectors are at the forefront of particle physics exploration and the quest for new phenomena. Equipped to detect a vast array of particles including photons, electrons, muons, and hadrons, they consist of multiple layers of subdetectors, each with a unique purpose in unraveling the mysteries of particle interactions. The innermost layer, called the tracking system, comprises finely segmented sensors. With the ability to track charged particles' trajectories as they traverse through the detector, scientists gain essential insights into their properties and interactions. By reconstructing the paths of these particles, a wealth of information emerges. Beyond the tracking system lies the calorimeter, the next layer of the detector. This ingenious component measures the energy of particles as they pass through their layers, providing vital data for identifying and characterizing the particles generated in the collisions. Completing this intricate ensemble is the outermost layer, the muon system, specially tailored to detect and measure elusive muons. These subatomic particles possess remarkable penetrating power, effortlessly traversing the layers of the detector. The muon system plays a crucial role in capturing vital information about collisions and the exotic realms of particle physics. Its design is specific to detecting and measuring these enigmatic entities, which hold particular significance due to their unique characteristics and relevance to various physics phenomena. The detectors rely on a sophisticated trigger system to handle the staggering volume of data generated by the collisions. Working hand in hand, the trigger system rapidly sifts through millions of collisions per second, utilizing advanced algorithms and predefined criteria to select only the most intriguing and potentially groundbreaking events for further analysis. The sheer magnitude of data produced by the collisions amounts to a mind-boggling 600 million collisions per second in each detector, yielding around 15 petabytes of raw data annually. Harnessing the power of sophisticated algorithms and computational techniques, physicists meticulously analyze this wealth of information, extracting physical quantities and observables of interest. These extracted quantities are then compared to theoretical predictions, illuminating the underlying laws and mechanisms that govern the universe and advancing our understanding of its inner workings. Amidst these scientific endeavors, one of the most monumental discoveries at CERN emerged, known as the Higgs boson. Initially proposed in 1964 to elucidate the origin of mass in certain particles, this subatomic particle found its experimental confirmation in 2012 through the dedicated efforts of the ATLAS and CMS experiments. The groundbreaking discovery of the Higgs boson marked a monumental achievement in particle physics, earning widespread recognition in 2013. 
For their theoretical work that paved the way for predicting the existence of the Higgs boson, Peter Higgs and Francois Ongler were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics. To comprehend the Higgs boson, let's delve into the concept of mass. In classical physics, mass is typically seen as an inherent property of matter. However, in the realm of particle physics, the origin of mass poses a fundamental question. Enter the Higgs field, an explanation for why certain particles possess mass. According to the theory, particles acquire mass through their interactions with this pervasive field. Imagine the Higgs field as a medium permeating space. As particles navigate through it, they encounter resistance similar to moving through a viscous substance. This interaction with the Higgs field results in the particle gaining mass. Analogously, envision a room filled with people, where some individuals attract followers, forming clusters. In this analogy, the individuals represent the Higgs field, while the surrounding people symbolize particles acquiring mass. The more followers a person attracts, the more massive they become. Similarly, particles with strong interactions with the Higgs field acquire more mass, while those with weak or no interactions remain relatively massless. Meanwhile, let's focus on the Higgs boson itself. It is a quantum excitation or vibration of the Higgs field, similar to other subatomic particles like electrons or quarks. The Higgs boson carries energy and momentum, but is unique as it originates solely from the Higgs field. Electrically neutral, it possesses a finite mass determined to be approximately 125 giga electron volts through experiments at CERN's Large Hadron Collider. Despite its intriguing nature, the Higgs boson is incredibly unstable, rapidly decaying into other particles shortly after its creation. This adds yet another layer of intrigue to its existence. However, this doesn't end here. Besides unraveling the mysteries of the universe, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN offers the tantalizing possibility of DIY black holes right here on Earth. CERN has a history of pushing scientific boundaries, and with the world's most powerful particle accelerator at its disposal, they delve into unexplored territories. While scientists assure us that any black holes created at CERN would be minuscule and harmless, some speculate that this narrative is simply meant to keep people from asking too many questions. The concept of creating small black holes at the LHC stems from theories proposing the existence of extra dimensions. According to these theories, under extreme conditions of energy, the LHC could potentially generate these micro or quantum black holes. It's important to note that extensive research has been conducted to assess the safety and feasibility of black hole production at the LHC. The scientific consensus, however, is that the energies reached by the collider are too low to create black holes that pose any threat. The energy scale required for significant black hole production is estimated to be much higher than what the LHC can achieve. Moreover, even if these hypothetical micro black holes were to be created, they would be extremely short-lived. The continued existence of astronomical bodies like Earth and other celestial objects suggests that the energy levels of the LHC cannot produce stable or dangerous black holes. Similarly, extensive theoretical models and calculations provide strong reassurance that any microscopic black holes that could be produced at the LHC would decay rapidly, further confirming their harmless nature. To ensure safety, leading scientists from CERN member states, including Japan, Russia, and the United States, have conducted comprehensive reviews of safety assessments covering various disciplines such as astrophysics, cosmology, general relativity, mathematics, particle physics, and risk analysis. In addition, the papers written by Giddings and Mangano and reports from the CERN-appointed LHC Safety Assessment Group have undergone meticulous scrutiny and garnered an endorsement from renowned experts, including multiple Nobel laureates in physics. Further analysis by CERN physicists has solidified the understanding that even if microscopic black holes were to be created, they would swiftly dissipate through Hawking radiation, a phenomenon predicted by the eminent physicist Stephen Hawking. This evaporation process ensures that any black holes formed would have an exceedingly short lifespan, disintegrating in a fraction of a second. However, it is essential to note that these microscopic black holes 
even if they were to persist momentarily, would possess such limited mass that they would pose no significant risk. Their small size and rapid evaporation mean they would have negligible gravitational influence and would likely be expelled into space before they could interact with surrounding matter. So even if CERN were to attempt the creation of a black hole or a portal to hell, as claimed by Carlson, it would have an extremely short existence before dissipating into nothingness. Interestingly, the scientists at CERN are also currently occupied with upgrading the LHC, dedicating their efforts to advancing scientific knowledge rather than creating black holes or portals to hell. Thus, the focus remains on enhancing our understanding of the universe, leaving any concerns about catastrophic consequences behind. The High Luminosity LHC represents a significant upgrade to the Large Hadron Collider, showcasing a global collaboration among over 30 institutes worldwide. Initiated in 2011, this ambitious project reflects the collective effort to push the boundaries of scientific exploration. Its primary goal is to amplify the LHC's integrated luminosity by a factor of 10. By increasing the number of particle collisions, scientists can delve even deeper into the enigmatic mysteries of the universe, scrutinizing rare processes and phenomena with unparalleled precision. This upgrade heralds a new era of investigation into the fundamental components of matter and the binding forces that govern them. The HLLHC will realize this objective through a substantial increase in collisions, ranging from five to seven and a half times more than the nominal LHC design. This exponential growth in collision frequency will yield invaluable insights into particles' nature and intricate interactions. To achieve this, CERN is poised to push various technologies to their limits. Superconductors, vacuum technologies, computing, electronics, and industrial processes will be pushed beyond conventional boundaries, creating a system that surpasses anything previously witnessed. However, while CERN excels in particle research, there are those who hold alternative perspectives. Some speculate that behind the surface of scientific exploration lies a hidden agenda that could potentially provoke a significant public outcry. These individuals question whether CERN's endeavors in studying particles serve purposes beyond our conventional understanding. These speculations often intersect with the realm of extra dimensions, adding an air of intrigue and mystery to the ongoing research at CERN. The energy levels associated with hidden dimensions profoundly influence particles and fields' behavior. This realization has given rise to an intriguing theory known as gravity's rainbow. According to this theory, gravity interactions may deviate from the predictions of general relativity when extra dimensions come into play, particularly at small distances. It suggests that concealed dimensions introduce a vibrant spectrum of possibilities, igniting new avenues of scientific exploration. To unravel the truth about the influence of concealed dimensions, CERN's cutting-edge experiments venture deeper into the intricate realm of gravitational interactions at the tiniest scales imaginable. Researchers hope that by meticulously measuring and analyzing the gravitational forces between particles, they can detect telltale deviations that could provide evidence of hidden realms. These investigations offer a unique window into the nature of space-time itself and its potential multidimensional structure. One of the most promising avenues for detecting concealed dimensions lies in the collisions of subatomic particles within the colossal energies generated by CERN's Large Hadron Collider. As particles collide and interact, they produce intricate patterns and energies that serve as tantalizing clues to the presence of hidden dimensions. Meticulous analysis of these collision events enables scientists to search for the elusive dimensional signatures that have the potential to validate the existence of hidden realms. The exploration of concealed dimensions at CERN thrives on collaborative endeavors involving experts from diverse disciplines. Theoretical frameworks such as string theory, supersymmetry, and the many worlds interpretation provide valuable guidance for experiments and analysis harnessing the collective knowledge and expertise of the scientific community. This collaborative approach is inherent to CERN's work, making it well-equipped to delve into the mysteries of concealed dimensions. However, CERN, at the forefront of scientific exploration, 
is pushing the boundaries of our understanding by unraveling the secrets of hidden dimensions and hidden universes. The possibility of other universes existing alongside ours, forming a concept known as the multiverse, is captivating. This idea suggests that numerous branches of existence exist, each shaped by a unique arrangement of hidden dimensions. And guess who's leading the charge in exploring this mind-blowing concept? CERN. Scientists at CERN are diving into the mind-bending implications of the many worlds interpretation. They're exploring the notion that alternative versions of our universe might exist right next to ours. These parallel universes have their own distinct physical constants and laws, making them entirely unique. But how does all of this connect to CERN's quest to open a portal to another universe? CERN is all about pushing the boundaries of knowledge and experimenting with mind-bending phenomena. They're contemplating the mind-blowing possibility of creating an interdimensional gateway, not to the fiery depths of hell as believed by Carlson, but to another universe within the vast multiverse. Their plan starts with understanding the fabric of space-time and those elusive hidden dimensions. CERN scientists are utilizing enormous particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider to unveil the secrets of these hidden realms. By smashing tiny particles together at super high speeds, they hope to reveal clues about interdimensional portals and the existence of parallel universes. To guide their search, CERN employs theories like string theory. In this realm, the familiar point-like particles we've come to know in particle physics take a back seat. Instead, they're replaced by something truly remarkable, one-dimensional entities called strings. These strings vibrate and interact in intricate ways, potentially holding the key to unlocking interdimensional gateways. In string theory, tiny strings shape reality, vibrating within hidden dimensions. These strings create forces and particles, intricately weaving our world. How does this relate to CERN's quest for interdimensional portals? Imagine a vibrating string becoming a photon or a quark, building blocks of matter. The possibilities are vast, waiting for a fortuitous discovery. Could hell exist alongside us in the multiverse? Maybe these strings connect us, defying our understanding. CERN's breakthrough might open an earthly doorway to the unimaginable. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.